Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Boxer and trainer Eric Kelly says to Anthony Joshua that he doesn't believe he wants to fight Wilder and wants smoke. Stay tuned. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, i seen a video. Before I play the video, I want to say a couple quick thoughts. It's with the boxer and trainer, boxing trainer, Eric Kelly. And when Joshua was in New York for the DAZN card, Canelo versus Fielding, he had a chance to, to catch up with him. And this video surfaced where he asked what Joshua, his plans were for the future. And he says, do you want smoke with Tyson Fury? This is what he's asking Joshua. He says, do you want smoke with Deontay Wilder? And almost before Joshua can even respond, Eric Kelly says to Joshua in front of him, in my personal opinion, I don't think you want smoke with Wilder. I, I don't I don't see it. I, I think you have fear. Right. And Joshua, he almost looks caught off guard that he would, you know, Joshua's, you know, big dude and stuff. And he just looked like he didn't expect that. And he looked caught off guard. And he says, well, that's your opinion. You know, before that, he was saying he wants to fight in America after fighting at Wembley. My thing is this, before you guys check out the video, as you guys can see, the pressure is mounting. The walls are closing in for Joshua. And as champion with the most belts, which him and his team conveniently bring up every chance they have an opportunity to, you see the questions are getting harder. You know, now you have people, at least when he comes to America, I don't really know about the UK, but he was in America for a Canelo fight week. So, you know, roughly a week. And every single question seems to be about Tyson Fury, Wilder Fury fighting Deontay Wilder and the questions are getting tougher and in my opinion I think Eddie Hearns and Anthony Joshua for so long they were the cream of the crop the king of the hill and they thought they could kind of control the board so to speak they didn't think Tyson Fury was a viable comeback opponent you know at the moment and David Hay just retired so they're thinking like who's this Wilder gonna fight he's gonna have to fight guys like Dominic Brazil maybe a Luis Ortiz rematch and these aren't the blockbuster fights but with Tyson Fury stepping up to the plate last minute and then going through with it having an epic fight with Wilder you know Wilder Fury some controversy they've aligned themselves to you know join force forces like Voltron and it's kind of overthrown what Eddie Hearns and AJ had planned and I really believe that and now you see people are asking more and more questions to AJ that he wasn't always getting those kind of uncomfortable questions so I don't think they anticipated this but you know with Wilder Fury they created a, a different lane for even possibly a trilogy and meanwhile, Joshua, he keeps getting challenged. Like, do you really want this fight? What about the 50 million? Even when he was on DAZN in between uh, the Tevin Farmer fight and the Canelo main event, they were asking him. And he was getting asked some tough questions by Chris Mannix. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I do believe Wilder will probably rematch Fury. And now all of a sudden, AJ is doing American media interviews and saying stuff about how he wants it in April. But... Those guys look to be tied up and consumed with the rematch or at least attempting to try to get the rematch done. So it seems a little bit too little too late. Now Joshua is probably going to have to fight someone else, most likely the winner of Dillian White, Derek Chisora. And I don't really know how much he gains from that. Maybe as a domestic level fight, you know, the UK might like it. But at the end of the day, the UK the zone is not being marketed to them. They have to get Sky Sports to watch Joshua's fights. So I don't know how Joshua is going to, you know, help catapult the zone into record breaking streaming numbers without fighting the names and the relevant faces that are familiar with the American population. It doesn't have to be an American, but guys like Luis Ortiz, Tyson Fury, they fought our best American and Deontay Wilder. They've come to America like Tyson Fury. He came to America and did the Joe Rogan show. So people are, are familiar with the brand or at the very least starting to become familiar with the brand and the story. 
you know, there's a video with Tyson Fury and Ray J, you know, the R&B singer. So he's making his presence felt, you know. We'll see what happens. Check out Eric Kelly asking Joshua to his face. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off. What's going on? What's going on with um, what you next? Well, April 13th, yeah. is what I'm looking to find next. We finished this chapter of 2018. Yeah. So I'm wishing everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. 2019 is a new chapter. Okay. And I'm looking to fight Eva in Wembley Stadium or potentially, God willing, I'd like to fight here. You, you want that? You want that? You want that Fury smoke? You want that Wilder smoke? I mean, personally, I don't think you want that wild smoke. I think it's a lot of fear. I, don't, I think you might be a little fear that wild smoke. What's good? What can I say? That's how you feel? That's how I'm mean, yeah. But you got the experience. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.